So I'm going to show you really fast in this video how um, to do the assignment here. So your goal is to create a collage around one of the themes of the story that we are going to be reading. So the first thing is you're going to make a Google presentation, just a new presentation. Go to your drive, say new, and then um, presentation, and then here you are. You want to pick the theme that is the simple light theme, and then click X and get out of it. Then you also want to right click on that slide and you're going to say apply layout and you're going to say down here to where it says blank because you don't want anything on it. Now, um, the goal of this is to make like a poster where this one slide is your poster where it is going to be a collage and from that collage it's going to be an expression of one of those themes that you picked. So if we look back at, um, if you think about all those themes, um, there were lots of different themes that we picked. I think we had seven different ones. So here um, was a list of all the themes. Um, there are several, several themes. We had seven different themes here. You're going to pick one of those themes and find pictures and words and other things that are going to help someone understand that theme from looking at your picture. So for example, maybe I'm going to have that theme. That's the theme that I really agreed with and I really like. So um, over here, um, let me just show you some things that you might want to do on your collage. There's lots of different choices, but um, I'm just going to show you some of the choices that you can do. So like I said, your goal um, is to uh, make a poster collage here that's going to show the, the theme that you have picked. Um, like I said, I'm just going to give you options, but you in no way have to um, use and do what I um, show you here. I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do. Um, the only thing is by the end, um, it has to show that theme and the complete thing has to be covered, the complete slide. So the first thing that maybe you want to do is get some pictures. So um, to do that, you're going to click on tools, you're going to click on research, and then over here you can click on images. Now the thing is you don't want to steal images that you can't have. So you saw I clicked on that little carrot and then you're going to click on here where it says free to use because otherwise you're stealing things. So um, you have to decide what are some images that might go along with your theme. And my theme was courage. And so maybe I want to find some pictures that have to do with courage. So I'm going to take that image and I'm going to put that image over here and then it puts my image in there, as you can see. Now, another cool thing with the images is you can resize them. So I can go like this and make it smaller. I can make it bigger. I can make it wider. I can make it um, longer like that. I can move it around. You can spin your images, right? Because we want to cover up the whole entire thing. Other cool thing you can do is you can click on this little crop right here and you can crop your image. Let's say I only really want that little bit right there and I can crop my image and now my image is cropped. Um, I can also click on the little carrot next to the cropping and I can crop it with a shape. So let's say I want that to be a circle. So I click on there and now my image is a little circle. So that's one tool that you can use the research tool over here with the images. Okay. And then um, the once you click on the picture, then you can get that crop. Um, tools as well. Also, if you click on that crop, if you click on, um, I forgot to say image options right here, you can even change the color. Maybe you want, um, dependent on your theme, maybe you want everything to be a certain color. So you can change the color of things. You can even change how transparent things are, change the brightness, change the contrast. It's kind of like Instagram filters over here. And then if you don't like it, you can just click reset adjustments. Um, I don't want it to be colored again. Okay, so we have that as an option. Then another cool tool that you can use is word art. So you can say insert and word art. And then whatever you type, I'm just going to put in that theme here. Um, it is word art. And then once I click on my word art, I can change the colors that I want it to be. Um, I can change um, how I can change the font over here. I can change if it's italic or bold. And then just like you can with the pictures, you can make your word art bigger. You can move it around. You can do cool different things. Um, the last thing that you might want to know as well is if you right click, you can change, you can, um, like I said, you can change the background here. Maybe you don't want it to be white. 
Maybe you want it to be some other color. Maybe I want my background to be that. And now that is my background. Now this is, um, so just know, right, that everything you do needs to help the person looking at your poster with the theme. If you pick a certain font, that needs to help the person understand your theme. You pick a certain picture, that goes with your theme. You pick words, that goes with your theme. Everything needs to go with your theme. Now, as you can see here, there are a few things where like one image is on top of another. Like I really want that image right there to be in front, but see how those other things are on it. So what you do is you select the image and you right click and then you say order and you say bring to front. And now that image is on the front. Same thing with this image. I want it to the front. You can do the exact thing, same thing to get something to the back. And then I got my words on here. I want to put them somewhere where people can see them. And see, so I've covered the whole thing and all my images help um, with my theme. And that um, is how you are going to do your art. Um, the last thing is you need to make sure it has a title. Um, okay. Um, and then you click share and you're going to click get shareable link. And then you're going to copy that link and then that is what you're going to post to classroom so that everyone else can see it.